Let us now explore fractions on number line. Question is, represent the following fractions on a number line and then arrange them in ascending order. Ascending order means increasing order from least to greatest. Okay, So let me write that here. Ascending means from least to greatest. That means increasing order. Now we are given fractions 3 over 5, 2 over 10, 1, 2 over 5 and 6 over 5. So you see there are improper fractions and mixed fractions and normal fractions given. And we also note that the denominator is different. For 3 of them it is 5 and 1 we have as 2 over 10. So it's a good idea to write them all with the same denominator. As you can see, 2 over 10 can be written as 1 over 5, right? You can divide both numerator and denominator by 2, then you can get 1 over 5, right? So let me divide both numerator and denominator by 2, and then what we get here is 1 out of 5. So that is our second fraction. So let me rewrite all the fractions once again. So it is 3 over 5, 1 over 5, 1 whole, 2 over 5, and 6 over 5. So these are the fractions given to us. Now we have to represent them on a number line. So let's draw a number line. It's a straight line like this. That is our number line how to represent one-fifth on it so that is the first question if you can represent one-fifth you can probably represent all of them right since they are all multiples of one-fifth so let's start with zero if this is zero let us assume that this is one-fifth okay so what we are checking is that we have one unit and we are calling that unit as one out of five and we'll start from here. So 1 out of 5, then that becomes 2 out of 5, 3 out of 5, 4 out of 5, and then 5 out of 5. 5 out of 5 will draw a bigger line. And we are saying that this is 1. Why it is 1? Since it is 5 out of 5. 5 out of 5 means the whole thing, right? So that becomes 1. And then let's move forward. What will come next after 5? 6 out of 5, 7 out of 5, 8 out of 5, 9 out of 5, and then 10 out of 5. Now, 10 out of 5 is what? Think about it. 10 out of 5. That means 2, right? So that is 2. So we'll draw a bigger line here also and say, well, this is actually 2 for us. So if you see on this number line, we started with 0 and we divide it into 1 fifths. This is the first 1 fifth, that is the second, third, fourth, fifth 1 fifth, that means 1 whole. I hope you appreciate how we have divided this line and got all the divisions in fifths, right? So these are all fifths. Now I think it is very easy to write down where which number should be placed 3 out of 5 let's count 1 2 3 so that is 3 out of 5 do you see that so this number is 3 out of 5 so we'll write 3 out of 5 here so we are done with the first number which is 3 out of 5 now second is 1 fifth well we already have it so let me just color it mark it with red colors this is what we have as 1 out of 5. Now, how about 1 whole and then 2 fifth? 1 whole and 2 fifth. That means 1 whole and then 2 fifths. First and second. Do you understand? Each division is 1 fifth. Second one is 2 fifths. So that is 1 whole and 2 fifth. So that is our next number. Right? So that is also done for us. Now, 6 over 5, 6 over 5, that means 
1 out of 5, 2 out of 5, 3 out of 5, 4 out of 5, 5 out of 5 and 6 out of 5. That becomes 6 out of 5 for us. I hope you get it, right? So that is how we can place all fractions on a number line. And now it is easy for us to arrange them from least to greatest or ascending order, right? So we have to write the lowest one first. So lowest one is 1 out of 5, the one on the leftmost, right? So our answer will be 1 out of 5, that is the least. And the next is 3 out of 5. And then we have 6 out of 5. And then we have 1 whole and 2 out of 5. So that is how we can arrange our fractions from least to greatest or from lowest to highest or in the ascending order. I hope you get the concept and you appreciate it. Thank you.